Hi everyone, it's Brian. It's Monday, March 6th. Um, I'm coming to you today with your daily vitamin. Um, sorry it's a little bit late, I just, again, struggling with the lighting in my house. Um, one of these days I'll get that right, and right about now I probably look like I got all kinds of, uh, I don't know, tan lines or whatever on my face. Um, but I wanted to kind of bring something to the forefront. Um, and I wanted to kind of throw this out there to everybody um, in hopes that we all feel the same way. Um, recently, I, I've had the opportunity to go on a, a couple of different um, meetings, retreats, and things of that nature. And I was really taken back by the few amount of male consultants that we have in this business. Um, I know there's, there's, you know, I'm an oddball, maybe Michael Yokely, uh, and there's others, and, and I know that. Um, but I really think that we as a whole, as a company, I think we're kind of um, missing a golden opportunity here with trying to attract more men to the business. Um, you know, whether you recruit males or females, the bottom line is recruiting is intentional, and I totally get that. Um, but I, I don't believe that we are doing enough as consultants to attract more men into this business. Um, and, and, you know, basically I, I kind of threw some questions out there, and I'll throw them out to everybody else. It's just kind of a, a little bit of um, information to kind of think about here. Um, I mean... How many of us really want more men on our on our teams? I know I do, um, and I would think that this because it's a market that we're not tapping into. I really believe that I that a lot of us need to kind of put some time and attention into how we're going to do that. Um, think about what your team would look like with more men on it. How many more people you would attract to the actual show atmosphere? Um, men love to spend money. You know, how would that, um, you know, kind of touch your bottom line? Um, I know, again, like I said, it, it has to be, you know, recruiting as, as a whole has to be intentional. Um, and what I want to kind of throw out there to, to everybody, and this is, again, is just kind of some, some vitamin for the day or maybe something to kind of ponder and think about. But um, I, I purposely have made it a point to try to change up my show, change up how I host coach, um, and, and try a few different things to see how we could actually go about attracting more men to the business. And I just want to kind of throw some numbers out there to you with some of the results I'm having that maybe you will be able to have as well. Um, and the reason for the whole purpose of this was um, I'm always asked when I go to conference or when I go to kickoffs or when I go to, you know, uh, retreats, how do you get more men in, in the business? You know, what made you sign? What ke keeps you going? Um, and, and by kind of, you know, reevaluating re all of that, um, I started looking at some things and... Um, Try some new things, and I'm going to throw you these ideas out to you. But first, I want to kind of just let you know that um, because of the the things I have been trying, um, here are some of the numbers that I'm starting to see. Um, of the last 26 consultants that I've signed on to my team, 15 of them have been men. 11 of those 15 are consistently active, and 9 of them qualified in their first 30 days. Okay, so there's just a little bit of what I'm seeing, okay? And here's some successful tips that I found to really help me to get more men to the show, put me in front of more men, put me in contact with more men, and in essence, um, basically enabled me to recruit more men to the team, okay? And the first thing you want to do is you want to start with um, host coaching. You know, ask your, your host, is she the cook in the family or is her husband the cook in the family? Is she having the show for her or to get him free stuff? 
um, ask her to ask the, the female guest that are coming to the show. Are they the cooks or are their husbands the cooks or their partners the cooks, their roommates the cooks? Um, if they are, get them to come to the show. You know, start introducing more and more shows as co-ed shows. You know, basically have the husband of the host invite his friends. Um, when you're, you're kind of gathering up some outside orders, you know, online orders that are prior to the show, um, make it a point to contact the male guest as well as the female guest to talk about their orders, okay? Um, when you're offering theme shows, be sure to offer theme shows that are going to be a, a little bit more male orientated shows. Now, I know we're very good at all, you know, offering girls night out and soup and slippers. Um, I happen to like soup and slipper shows, but that doesn't mean all the other guys do. Um, but you, you want to kind of start combining shows. And what I mean by that is, you know, okay, so do your soup and slippers, but on the same side, you know, in the, in, at the same show, also offer things like, you know, brats and beer, or maybe poker and pizza, um, date night shows, couples night shows, food wars, man versus nachos, you know, things of that nature. And I'm sure you guys can come up with a ton of them, but the bottom line is try to get them so that they're more co-ed type of show 